Не надо думать за начало Я тебе застал 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 Я тебе Sitting at uh, Tong Beach in the afternoon. I was riding my, I was riding a uh, taxi bike uh, not long ago, and uh, my blue hat, the one that looks like this, very similar to a but, but in blue and uh, yellow, flew off as I'm riding because the motorbike taxi was flying, man. And these guys don't, they don't care about life and death. They fly to it in, and I'm holding on to the taxi bloke so, so tight, like Khawafni. And as a result, my hat goes flying, so I had to go buy another one. And I purchased another one as well, another blue one. This is the blue one that uh, flew away when I was riding on the way to the beach, so I had to go buy another one. So I bought two instead. <laughs> Got a good deal. People always ask me, why do I wear these American snapbacks? Are you trying to be an American or something, trying to be a gangster, Zach Malay? The reason why I wear these snapbacks is because i got a small head. And I got a boldly patch right on the middle of my head. So that's one reason why I wear them because if I grow my hair, if I grow my hair, I got a boldly patch right in the middle. And as a result, I needed something to cover that. So I thought, why not? I might as well get the snapbacks. <laughs> and since I started to wear them like a year ago, I wasn't a big fan of hats anyway. In, in general, I'm not a big fan of hats. I hate wearing hats, but when I first wore my, my uh, first snapback, when I was doing a YouTube clip back at home in, in, in Parramatta, it looked very good on me, man. <laughs> so I looked very cool, you know, down to earth. <laughs> so I thought, well, why not? I'm going to start wearing them. looks pretty cool, you know. So no, I'm not trying to be an American gangster or anything like that, man. I'm just wearing it because for two reasons. One, I've got a small head. And by wearing a snapback, it makes my head a bit bigger. I look like a mushroom, mushroom head. <laughs> and two, I like to cover my patch that I have on top of my head. I'm only 31, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm a 62 year old with the head that I have on my shoulders. So we're heading to John Ceylon. Yes. <laughs> yes, John Ceylon, we're in the cab. And no, I'm just talking to myself on the video. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, I'm talking to my people back in Australia. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to an area called John Ceylon and I'm um, with my colleague, he's going to get some uh, healthy juice. Uh, what do you guys think about my hat? Sexy, yeah? No, it's sexy cool hat right there. <laughs> yeah, so he's gonna get some orange juice. Um, it's very hot. Tomorrow we're expecting, we're expecting thunderstorms. Brother, tomorrow thunder, yeah? Tomorrow thunder. Sun. Sun? Sunshine. Sunshine and yes. thunder. Because I, I raining tomorrow. No, no. No? Because no. I look at the weather, it no. said uh, thunder and rain. No. No? Okay, so the weather channel got it wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's apparently going to be uh, sunny, another sunny day. We're heading back to Australia in a couple of days' time. So here we are at uh, <laughs> Michael <laughs> at a shopping centre in Phuket called Jean Ceylon. It's a French term, Jean Ceylon. Je m'appelle Désiré. So uh, my colleague is going to get himself. Um, a healthy juice. Someone here. He wants a juice. Saying it's So I'm just following him through. This is the shopping center. Just had an accident here. A motorbike accident. Just had a uh, motorbike accident here. Uh, one of the Thai residents seems to be a lady just got hit either by a motorbike or she was riding a motorbike and uh, she was hit by some other vehicle, not before. Inshallah she's alright man. One lady was riding a motorbike here on one of the main streets and she was hit by another motorbike. And as a result, um, she kind of flew off her bike and landed back 
her head back first on the ground. She's okay. She's in a stable condition, but um, it would have been much more fatal. Considering the rates, the uh, statistics here in Phuket, uh, motorbike accidents are very high. And usually, motorbike accidents end up in a fatality. It's very fatal, man. Very, very dangerous. So, inshallah khair, I hope that lady, I don't know where she's from, what country she's from, but she looks like a foreigner. And inshallah khair, inshallah, she's, um, she recovers uh, shortly. Maybe I'm recording video. I have to go back to Australia tomorrow. I'm come later for massage. Me too fat. You don't want to massage me. Me fat. <laughs> I told the massages, massage ladies, I'm too fat. You don't want to massage me. <laughs> she cracked up laughing. <laughs> You got the uh, shipwreck here, that's the original shipwreck. That's where the original Titanic sank over here. So that's where that's, <laughs> that's where the original Titanic sank over there. Oh, it looks sexy and big. <laughs> We're going on a tuk tuk baby! Oh shit! Woo. Oh. Welcome to the tuk tuks! This is what you call a tuk-tuk. We're riding around in circles at Patong in a Phuket tuk-tuk, which is an equivalent to what you have back at home called a, uh, a good old, you know, a taxi service. Keep driving, man. Back at the beach. Back at the beach. 